Good morning. Welcome to my hotel room. Come in, Andy. Okay, we are north in a hotel in Birmingham. That's a lie. Actually, in Solihull. I always say Birmingham. It's actually Solihull. We're up here to hang out with some of the Gymshark lads. Basically, the last like year and a half has just been like a global disaster, and now things are semi-normal. Gymshark wanted to do something cool, just kind of meet up, hang out, do some fun stuff. That's what we're doing. We've got some fun activities planned for later on, so it should be good. I figured it would be good to film it, um, and I thought to add another layer of excitement to the day, I would get the other Gymshark athletes to pick my diet for the day. What are you saying, Andy? You excited? I'm game. I'm hoping you get like tomato juice. That's what I'm yeah, I mean, let's be honest. I'm probably going to get mugged off here. Like, I've been involved in lots of these videos for other people. I'm a bit of a d so I just choose horrendous things. I feel like some people are probably going to hold some grudges. Probably going to be far from ideal, but on the topic of grudges, Andy just messaged me on MySpace and said that if you don't like this video, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications. He's going to find out where you reside, infiltrate your local sewer system, burn all of his clothes and world in this was just like a weird little naked man in the sewers. Live there for like six months while he slowly evolves into a sewage man, pinpoint the exact location of your bathroom and then just burst out through the soil pot with his head in your toilet, screaming as loud as you can like multiple times a day. So if you want a weird greasy sewage man's head coming out your toilet screaming, then that's fine. But you probably don't want that. Just so. Right, let's get aggressive. There happens to be a fellow Gymshot athlete slash absolute melt residing. I think he's literally here. He's probably gonna be asleep. So let's get the day started with a nice gradual, gentle wake up. Good morning! Why do you look like that? Why the sweatiest man in the world? So just been for a run. I think that's a lie. This is super right. early for me. It's not even There's nine o'clock. Babe station on the TV. <laughs> He's in a hotel room by himself. Super sweaty. <laughs> Very good. Why are you extremely sweaty? I am very sweaty. Why is your room cold? My room is about 400 degrees. Is it? I'm not joking. We've got ventilation here. This is way colder than yeah. your room hot as well. Yeah. Did you see different. Shara Bat? No, we're separate rooms. But both of our rooms are really hot. You, my friend, are going to select me a delicious breakfast to start the day. Okay. Let's have a shower first, though, right? Don't want to Okay, you've got, like, you've got three and a half minutes to have a shower. Right, okay. I'll be back. Are you ready? I'm very ready. I want some absolutely incredible selections here. So just just to clarify, are you still on a cut or not? I'm just because my intention you can be to just ruin. do just do whatever you want. I'm giving you free reign. One warm play. Don't be immature. Remember how I'm a nice guy with these things, so just replicate that, please. Actually, on the other side. Join the other side. I don't know if I can go. I don't you can do what you want. Excuse me. This guy has come around to the other side of the thing. Is that allowed? Looks like you're working. He's serving breakfast all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Why have you got five sausages? What are you doing? Am I like the blackest little shriveled sausages ever? You can't put that on the same plate as sausages. You're an absolute creep. Matt also hates being really full, and we're training in literally an hour. <laughs> uh, can we get like 95 grams of scrambled eggs, like the props? Yeah, perfect, perfect. Thank you. And then, what's in this one? Beans. Yeah, yeah. And what's in this spot, Mum? What kind of tomatoes? Uh, yeah, loads of beans, please. What's mushrooms and tomatoes? Yeah, yeah. Do you like mushrooms? I, I literally love them, my favourite at all. Uh, I actually like no them. mushrooms, yeah. just tomatoes. What do you mean, tomatoes? That's um, not, that's not, that's not probably full. Yeah, well, that's not, that's, made, that's two whole tomatoes. <laughs> it looks so heavy and dense to me. That, like, to be honest, that's not even bad. Like, that's, what, where's the fun in that, so. Fruit and fibre. Why do you think you're doing that? That's just a You're an absolute melt, mate. You're literally the definition of a melt. Right, I got this wrong. I thought, incorrectly in hindsight, that Lou was a nice guy. I thought he was a nice guy. He's going to give me a normal breakfast. Like, literally, what is that? Just feel the weight of that plate quickly. That's ridiculous. That's that is a forearm workout just holding this plate. It's like a school dinner tray as well, by the way. I've never eaten raisins and egg together in my life. By the way, in case you're unaware, <clears throat> this fine gentleman is Louis Armstrong. One of the greatest things to ever come out of Ireland. <laughs> well, actually Newcastle upon time, but I live in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> just cut that bit out. <laughs> okay, so two things. Firstly, 
It's not actually that bad. It just makes, it's just like a full English breakfast, but a bit sweeter. I actually quite like it. Secondly, I feel like, I feel like it would be selfish for me not to share the experience around. Just try it. Give it, before you kick off, just give it a chance. <laughs> Honestly, nice and spread yeah. anything. Are you actually being serious? But you've got to spread it around a bit more as well. It's nothing mm. of the raisins. When you get a raisin in a mouthful, it's unexpected, but it's quite a, it's like a pleasant surprise. It's so dry. You've got to like scoop it. Okay, oh. get, get, get some more, get the beans, like try and spread the beans. Diffuse the beans so it's a bit wetter. <laughs> Diffuse the beans. How bad is it? Come on. It's like a sweet full English, right? Like a full English dessert. It's actually not bad. It was honestly quite enjoyable, but I'm mindful that we are training in like half an hour and if I have this in my stomach, I'm going to be a disgusting bloated mess, so I'm going to leave that. I've eaten a good amount. It look, that looks bad, but I've eaten, like, there was a lot on my plate, right? Come on. I had a substantial amount of food like on my plate. like seven sausages, so. <laughs> and you ate, you ate one full pan of chocolate, so you don't really have to eat that one. Yeah, I'm, this is fine. This is a good amount of carbs. Okay, now there was a Starbucks in the lobby, so and Louis, my Starbucks level is like expert. Yeah, Louis is like a notorious Starbucks frequenter, so we're probably going to swing by. I already know what you're going to get. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but Matt, I'm going to get, I have to order his drink. So, be a gift. I'm going to get him a venti. What does that mean? Pumpkin spiced, iced frappuccino with... Why are you saying weird? It's already quite... Almond milk and just half the amount of syrup. So if you normally use like four pumps, get two pumps. Yes, yeah, fine. Did you want to have a coffee? Yes, please. Yeah, is that what you get? Is that what you would get? No. Um, yeah, vegan no. cream. No! Vegan cream. <laughs> okay, normal cream, please. Why have you put cream on top of it? It's already like... And then a, can I have... What drink was it? A frappe... What was it? It's a pumpkin spiced frappuccino with almond. A frappuccino is already like a creamy drink. Yeah, add more cream. You love dairy. Yeah. Someone has to pay for the Starbucks, and the only fair way to pay for Starbucks is to play the finger game, so... What we're gonna do? Sorry. Is to play the finger game. <laughs> it's all it's come from a man who I found sweating out in his bedroom this morning by himself watching Babe Station. And whoever it lands on, whoever whoever it lands on has yeah, to yeah. pay. Three, two, one, go. Yes! That's it, mate. I'm having I'm getting a terrible drink and I'm paying for it. This is the worst day of my life. This looks like I've gone to an ice cream place and just ordered like the biggest dessert on the menu. Please have a sip. Anyone, why, why does this drink exist? Just on a side note. If anyone's ordering this just recreationally and having it on a day to day basis, you're an absolute psycho. You're probably going to die in your 30s. Okay, it's actually nice, to be fair. To be fair, it's actually nice. It's nice at this level, but I feel like when it starts to get, when this starts to get involved, I think I'm going to drink like this much for the caffeine and then I'm tagging out. Wilson Jr. You miss me, baby. I uh, no. miss me, daddy. <laughs> cut that out of the video. Right, I need a crystal today, just put it today, some context. I'm getting gym shot athletes to, to choose my diet, select my meals. Gosh, right. you are. What a I shock. Need, I need, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, original, I've not seen it done before, so I thought I'd just try something. I need some pre workout of some form. When you're asking me. I need you to pick me one. Well, I'm not allowed to pick anything. It's against the rules. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Well, I don't, I'm out of bride up to pre workout. No, there's it. stuff. There's, <laughs> this, there, there's an array of products around here. That one. It's getting, that's, you're pointing at a bag. That's well, my bag as well. Come on, can we go over there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> pre workout draw here. One scoop of everything. I've, uh, I don't take pre workouts, so. Uh, <laughs> I reckon. Yeah. Immediately regretting doing this. I feel like a pre workout is not the kind of thing that you mess around with. I'm not, I'm not even I'm not a big pre workout man, so I'm not the kind of person that can handle that. Yogi tea. That's really good for. Um, <laughs> you said you were dehydrated, so. Yeah, there's actually one left. We're going to do a half scoop of each with <laughs> creamy caramel and some coffee and, and a tea bag. So. Everyone has to do it. Lex is just taking this to a suitable right. level with a fantastic product for my protein, the only reputable protein supplement company in this entire building. <laughs> Which I don't know if you already know, but I'm now part of too. Oi, oi! This is, this is a stupid idea. No, it just went just a tiny bit. That's an actual coffee just poured in there. That's not too good. This is, I'm blaming you for your go a bit woozar on this. Me. Right. Yeah. That's like 50% powder. It's literally <laughs> drinking powder. Yeah. Wow. Finish it. All the best. Mal just dies in my video. 
it's actually really good. Cool. Cool. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, that was intense and also dangerous. Uh, we're now going to just come back to normality. I've just got some standard stim-free pump pre-work. I'm going to have some of this. Then we're going to do, I want to do a push workout, shoulders, chest, triceps. I might tag along with someone else to make it more interesting. Uh, but yeah, let's get aggressive. Let's, let's begin. Daniel's about to go for a big, a, big, a big deadlift, I think like 305 for a double, I believe. He's disgustingly strong human, so should be exciting. Okay, session is done. That was the weirdest, most elongated, most truncated session in my entire life. We're here for about 15 hours and I did like four exercises. Got people like George Hickton just nagging, nag, nag, nag the whole time trying to get me out to do stuff. Matt, do one exercise, come and do a tour of HQ. Matt, come and take some photos outside. Matt, come and rub moisturizer into my back in the changing room. <laughs> that is 100% true. Anyway, we're done. George, what's happening next? Do we all house for a party? We're all going to No, we're not going to one house. You said you were hooked Where are we at? Are we going to a place? Yeah, yeah. No, but like for lunch? Oh, yeah, oh, okay, okay, so we're gonna head to the HQ, get some food, I'll find someone to choose it for me. Great times, can't wait. Do you like bread? It's making me that whole thing You're dry. not allowed to just get a loaf of bread. <laughs> no, no. Do you like bread? Yeah? Do you like that bread? That looks, that looks moist. Yeah? Fine. Well, I'll ask him for some rye bread. Yeah, come on, we'll get rye bread. Uh, what else have we got? Peri Peri roast chicken breast on the bone. All right, okay. I know that <laughs> carbohydrates are important, right? You love post workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More the better, yeah, yeah. You want carbohydrates, right? Could we please get one piece of the rye bread? On top of the rye bread, please. Could we just get some of the greens and, and the carrots, please? Thank you. No, just on top of it, just load it up. Loaded rye bread is what we're going for. Could <laughs> please add one strip of halloumi? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then could we have half rice, half chips, please? What is this, mate? <laughs> what is that? It's not a meal, is it? <laughs> <laughs> and could we have that smallest burnt bit of chicken in the corner? The, yeah, right there, please, yeah. That's a meal, that. I mean, yeah. Could have been, <laughs> could have been worse, to be fair. Yeah. Could have been worse. Is there anything else I can add on there, though? Olive oil. Can I just have, can I have one of them, please? That's a order. He's on a cart, bro. He's on a cart. Leave him alone. Okay, I can't wait to go and eat this. Before I do that, I'm going to quickly talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. So in case you're not aware, Surfshark is a VPN, and a VPN is basically a tool which protects your privacy when using the internet. Stuff like your photos, your videos, your documents, all the private stuff in your computer you wouldn't want some greasy little weirdo like Louis Armstrong getting their hands on. When you use Surfshark, you know it's protected. But the coolest thing about Surfshark is that it allows you to change the location from which you're accessing the internet, which has a number of benefits. The main one being you get access to loads of extra content that you wouldn't ordinarily get. Now I've been using Surfshark for friggin' ages, like, I don't know, what are you saying, a year plus, a year and a half? A long time, like way before the days of Andy, and that's because it's sick. Like the location changing thing in itself is extremely, extremely useful. Like if me and Sarah are watching Netflix, all I have to do is change my location to the US, and I'm immediately hit with a plethora of extra shows that normally I wouldn't be able to watch. And as well as the location changing thing, Surfshark also protects your privacy when using public Wi-Fi. So let's say you're in a restaurant or a cafe and you hop onto the Wi-Fi. When you use Surfshark, you know again all of your stuff on your computer, on your phone, is completely safe. But if you are still not convinced if my weird little sweaty toilet chat has not been enough to win you over. Surf 
Surfshark is the only VPN that allows you to use your one account across unlimited devices, and they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you want to give it a go, there is literally zero risk. So there is a link to Surfshark in the description. Use that link and use the code Matt, and you will save yourself 83% and get three months extra for free. You are welcome. Let's go and eat some mother effing lunch. We're back. Uh, okay. I mean, it, it could be a lot worse. I think had that been me, I think oh. I would have done you worse than that. So I think you've well, been relatively kind. I remember I took to LA. You was the worst yeah. at doing that sort of stuff. But so I think also, Ethan, no. So I'm going to choose his dinner <laughs> later on. And I think that you had that in the back of your mind, didn't you? Yeah, exactly. I couldn't, I couldn't do you in too badly. However, when you have a nice meal, especially something so moist yeah. as, as rye bread, you need to wash it down uh, with a Zinger organic lime and chili shot. So okay. I think that'll do you nicely. <laughs> that is quite spicy, wherever that is. It is, isn't it? That's extremely dry. What is well, that's got chili in it as well. Think of the immune system like lime, chili, ginger, all that. We like to drink with Matt. Because Matt Ooh. is our mate. It's gonna ruin my and whole when we drink with well. Matt, he gets it down in eight, seven. Oh. Just drink it, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, get all gone. Hey. Nice. It wasn't that bad, it wasn't that bad. That was like less chilli than I thought it was going to be, that's alright. Nice! That could have been worse. The sauce is spicier than that drink. How about that? It's just so nice, honestly. It's so nice. It's like freshly baked. <laughs> that's been there for a while, I know it has. You know, the guy's face. He captured the guy's face when we ordered this, honestly. He was literally... Have that bribery! Like five seconds to come to terms, he was like computing the words. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not the best bread on the planet. Halloumi, literally yeah. the greatest cheese yeah. on the planet. Squeaky cheese. Yeah. We love squeaky cheese. Egg, mate. Egg. Am I allowed an egg? Do you know what? You look like you need it. Yes, <laughs> Ethan. What a guy. Okay, so I'm, I'm, like, I'm done. It was very spicy. But the spiciness, you know when you have spicy stuff and everything else just tastes of spice? Yeah. Like seven up, spice. It will taste. <laughs> Do you know the what? Bread, I respect it. Fair this. Hope yeah. the bread would kind of grow on me. It hasn't. It's just the same. Looks like it's been growing something in here, bro. This is a... Wow. Sorry. Wow. Sorry. Just bite that corner. Ah, yeah. oh, I don't want it, man. I don't want it. Get come no, to this. Hard. Get the audio of this. <laughs> that is literally. That is the hardest thing in the world. No bread should sound like this. On the plus side, egg. So a cold egg. Every cloud. It's really cold. <laughs> it's a really cold egg. We're gonna finish up here. Then we got some exciting activities planned for the afternoon. Okay, we are at Bear Grylls' adventure thing. It's just a massive, I mean, I haven't seen it, but like, that's a helicopter, mate. This looks mad. George, tell me what's going on right now, please. We're gonna have all the fun. We're going on that there. I, I, I hope we're going on that. What is it, what do you do on that? Well, we're going on the thing called high, high ropes, and that looks pretty high and ropey yeah. to me. We're doing shooting, we're doing archery, and we are doing Sick, mate. indoor skydiving. Oh, the thing where you like yeah, float yeah. in the tube and you're getting like blown, that looks sick, okay. Okay, this is gonna be sick, and he's gonna, and he's gonna try and film it. He's gonna make it incredible. It's gonna be the best bit of videography you've ever seen. He just told me he guarantees me this will be the best thing you watch on YouTube today in terms of production and content. So it should be good. Let's just get in there and see what the crack is. That's straight out of the Matt Does Fitness Instagram pose scrapbook. Whoa, I literally cannot hear now. Yep, all right. Slide it off to the right on your ball, so I shot in the middle. Very good. If I wanted to be a serial killer, would you say I've got a. Yeah, you're doing great. Everything, yeah. Yeah, you're doing great. Thanks, mate. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he said mine was good, and then when Louis came in, he was like, mm, yours is the opposite. <laughs> You've sprayed here, mate. Yeah, but, but look, can you see that all of mine to the right, all of yours to the left? Yeah, but... But what? Where, this is, this is someone's head, mate. I've killed this person repeatedly. Yeah, so I've killed you them You just once. skim now, you've hit the arm, leg, stomach maybe. They're bleeding out, but this guy is literally gone, mate. Absolutely gone. Okay, that was intense. And by intense, I mean weird. You find that weird? I find it a bit weird to shoot me in a gun. It's a bit weird, isn't it? No, it was, uh, it was good, to be honest. Yeah, I loved it. Matt's the only one if that didn't really it, like it. If you love shooting guns, you're a bit, I think you're a bit weird, to be honest. It was fun, to be honest. Okay, snack time. 
Nate is going to pick me. I think you've already picked me, right? No, I've already picked it. So at the, at I've the, done... at the HQ, he said pre-selected a snack for me. Yeah, it was guy. a halfway house between a violation and me being a nice person. So I feel like you're a nice person. I think this is, I think you've done it right, you know. I, I think I'm too nice. I think you're a nice person. That's why I feel like it's going to be okay. No, snack time. What is that? So, oh, no, no, that's what not. is that? Okay, so that's not a snack. The last, cho the worst chocolate crunchy. I can find. I'll eat crunchy. it right now. You eat it right now. Do you like crunchy? Yeah. No, you mad. Anyways, why Chris, it, what have you done to it? What have you done to this crunchy? Quinoa chips. Yeah, you like quinoa? I don't care if you like quinoa, you're eating it. Alright? Mm. Come, love a crunchy. And then, to top it off, sucralose by itself. You a fan? Splendor. Artificial sweet now. Yeah. Just down it, mate. Yeah. Alright, isn't that bad actually? That's really sweet. It's like sweet sugar, mate. Yeah, but it's not like, no, I prefer sugar. sugar. It's like got a weird, like, yeah, it's just taste of chemicals. All yeah. them chemicals in there. Yeah, Bro, there was no bad snacks at the HQ. I'm annoyed. I was going to make you eat a banana skin. It's awesome. <laughs> Why you can't do that? <laughs> like, that's what I asked you. Is that even, like, physically possible? This is the best meal segment of the day so far. I would literally choose those. Like, I wouldn't choose a Splendor because I'm not a psycho, but I would definitely choose those as my snack. And what, the Splendor was the best part? What do you mean? Happy with that. I'm happy with that. That is like one of the sickest things I've ever done, mate. That was so good. Oh my god, that was mad! As if, mate, when you see like, the little spinny round thing, like, what the hell? That was so fun. Like, that's literally one of the funnest things I've ever done. That was mad. I'm gonna do it again really bad. I'm gonna become a skydiver. Right, that was absolutely. I'm still buzzing from that experience. Like, it was so fun. And we're now going for dinner, and little does he know, Lex is going to select. My dinner. He's gonna oh, select game of the day? my dinner. Uh, where are we going? We're going to a Vietnamese place. Do you like pineapple on your I food? I feel like I'm not answering. I'm not answering <laughs> the question, but I feel like Vietnamese. There's gonna be some options, so you could mug me off if you wanted to, or you could be a great guy and just fill end the video with a lovely, wholesome, enjoyable <laughs> meal. I know what I choose, so let's just hope Lex is a as good a guy as I. Like, as good a guy. What's the smallest dish on a Vietnamese menu? <laughs> like one shrimp on a whole plate. <laughs> So Lex has got me a pink lemonade, a pint of soda water, and a shark bite. What is this? What is the shark bite? I think it's like George this Tequila. So no camera. No, actually, wasn't that bad. Actually, it was quite nice. Oh, damn it! <laughs> as far well, as shots go, that shot's going to be blue and everything. Brain like, nephew, it made it smooth. That's it wasn't like aggressive, you know. I'm instantly regretting letting Lex choose myself. What, what is? I don't understand what can entail that much conversation. Lex, mate, what are you doing? Can I do a swap seat? What are those, by the way? Uh, Perry. <laughs> <laughs> We're clearly covered in chilli, aren't we? <laughs> to be fair, you put Perry sauces. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very spicy ribs. Fire salad there for you. <laughs> and never fry an egg there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Leaves with chilli. For your beef chilli. Okay. And then protein. It stinks. <laughs> I, chose, it stinks. I chose Ethan's dinner. My arsehole's gonna hoon. Yeah. I've got, I've got, I've got seven fried eggs. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 Hang on. What, 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 what's the, what's the, what is the component in this one? So it's, it? it's a salad. Why are there so <laughs> many chilies in there, mate? Every time I expose the layer, there's more chilli. Because with papaya, that is often found in a salad, you have to have all the chilies. What is that, mate? That's not good. Is that on the menu? Yeah. <laughs> that's, on, that's so spicy as well. <laughs> that's it. So annoying. Yeah, that, no, the red bit, the red bits, yeah, yeah, all of that. I bet that's delicious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
It's not that hot. Eat that red bit now. On the second bite. That's so spicy. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Anyone want a fried egg? <laughs> Matt, don't give me one. I may look like I like eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I will, I'm sure I will. So it's it's soggy spring rolls in a, a, in a bowl of oily soup with noodles. Delicious. Why? Local delicacy. Why would you do that? That's going to be too hot to eat for about three and a half hours. George, can you move the car a bit later? It's the hottest fish in the world. <laughs> scored my entire inside. It's dissolved in the bowl of boiling water. What should be delicious? So hot, are you kidding me? Jesus. Oh. Win. Tastes right. It's just extremely hot. <laughs> Tastes like a really soggy spring roll. A really soggy, really hot spring roll. Hell, hell, look at all the hell. It's just the most inconvenient meal I've ever had. Do you have to feel the temperature? Are you kidding me? Drink some of that. It's quite hot. So I've resorted to eat egg with my hand. Okay, dinner is done. That was extremely bad. Like, definitely the worst part of the day. My mouth is literally, I feel like it's vibrating. This, the spice level I'm experiencing now is very strong. I feel like it's ruined my evening. I'm still, to be honest, buzzing off the skydive. The skydive was so good. Like, I'm definitely doing that again. <clears throat> In terms of the day, I think we're done. I mean, we are done. We're literally running down to get our car now. Got an absolute trek. Three and a half hour journey back to my house. Not ideal. I've lost, like, it's been such a long, mad day. I've lost, I have no semblance of what's happened. So, if the video was an absolute pile of shit, I apologize, but I mean blame Andy because he's filming it, but we're done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed Andy's backwards dismount off an escalator, give it a thumbs up as well. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Oh.